Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on NPC Thursday, 18 June. Um, Quiet-ish day yesterday. Uh, stock closed 31.10. A little bit of risk off overnight. Um, some jawing from China. Uh, towards Australia took Aussie down to 68.37 but here we are back at 68.84 surprising um, but it dovetails with uh, the stock move right traded down to uh, 30.64 now we have an interesting sort of technical point down there that will be watched very closely for the rest of the week um, both Aussie and ES look very, very similar. One trades for the other. So um, that correlation has not changed. Gold, bunch of highs now at 40. Not sure what that means. Uh, still, if you look on the dailies, dead smack sort of in the middle. So we're not going to get sucked into that. But um, waiting, waiting patiently to, for gold to figure out which direction she wants to go um, my guess is higher but tough to trade gold main focus today is going to be sterling we sort of slithered down to 15 yesterday in the low end of the range now we're back at 55 nothing really to see here on this chart even this low right here 124.50 looks like a trap uh, looks like there's very good support uh, at one, 124 the f figure sort of this high here sort of which is 123.95 figure looks to be good support so hard to figure what's going to happen here some people are saying um, they should increase QE and you know an extra hundred billion that's kind of what's expected others are saying that they should do nothing and keep their powder dry that's what the shadow boe suggested so there is a range of opinions here i guess the focus is going to have to be on this number um what the asset purchase facility number is so I would say greater than greater than 700 or 750. Let's say 750. Greater than 750 would be negative. Um, 645, which is where it is, or 645. If it stays at 645, it would be deemed as positive for the currency. I think um, the tricky bit here is if they do nothing. Does the market penalize the currency anyway? So there's a lot to think about. Um, not going to be easy. We're going to rely on price and chart today because it's not super straightforward. It doesn't help that Euro Sterling and Cable are dead smack in the middle. But let's face it, there's five and a half hours before this thing comes out, so these things may adjust and may move. Sterling Yen is more on the lower end of, of its recent ranges, and this is also dollar yen driven. Um, we're going to have to relook at this sort of at lunchtime. 1 p.m. Swiss is when the, when the fireworks start, so that'll be interesting. After that, we do have, obviously, uh, employment claims, unemployment claims in the U.S., Philly Fed. Uh, Meister speaking in the evening, but uh, no one cares what Meister says uh, at the moment. So he's not gonna he's not gonna say anything wild or crazy. Let's look. Let's look else. What's going on? Dollar yen creeping lower. The market seems to be thinking this is based on SoftBank's uh, SoftBank news about asset sales. Uh, could also be the general news on um, less 
U.S. asset purchases or disposal of U.S. assets by foreign entities. Um, this is something we're keeping a keen eye on because this is this will have a massive effect on foreign exchange. Um, whether foreigners keep buying U.S. bonds, whether foreigners keep buying U.S. assets, as in real estate or stocks. Um, this is something we need to watch going forward. We talked about the yen chart many times the last week or so. 106.50 is kind of interesting, but the bingo number is 106. Uh, but this this lady looks like she wants to go go down, and when a lady wants to go down, you just typically let her. It's my advice to uh, listeners out there. Aussie yen, uh, you know, with Aussie going down and dollar yen heading lower, you'd think this would be more powerful, but it's not. It's a bit, I wouldn't say unnerving, but I just don't really understand it. There's no real follow through on this risk off. Let's take a look back at the ES chart. Again, like, loads of bad news out there. The market's not really responding to it. Um, and when you get a market that doesn't respond to bad news, that's always weird and frustrating for a lot of people. Um, but that usually just means it's bid. So be careful. Be careful. We are not long. Yes, we are not short either. Um, but just calling it as I see it today, we had bad news. We've had bad news about the upcoming U.S. elections, <clears throat> as in bad news for the stock market. Might be good news for humanity. Um, typically, the stock market doesn't care about humanity. Uh, we've had bad news about virus cases. We've had bad news about employment. Um, and, okay, we've come from 3140 down to 3060 twice now uh, it's hard to believe we're at 3090 this, this this should be lower um, if logic were to rule a day we know how dangerous logic can be all trading FX so use price as your main guide pretend you're blind price is your is your dog guiding you uh, through the streets Dollar China lower, no idea why. China was kind of squawking about rates a little bit. I thought that was a bit dovish. Uh, just weird. This is obviously lower dollar China. It usually is risk on. Don't get it. Dollar Norway lower. This is also risk on. Um, next leg in dollar Norway through 1067. Could do. Youngsters who who have never really seen dollar Euro, Euro Norway, excuse me, um, forget that this shit came from seven. We're at ten seventy. This could easily go down to eight. Um, so don't be afraid to hit a bid if we get through uh, ten sixty seven, especially if oil's higher and we are risk on. Bitcoin, not much to say. Just waiting for 10,500 to go. Um, buying cheap ones is, is, the, is the way forward in, in Bitcoin. So maybe 8,200 and 7,200. Treat this as an asset. Treat it as a stock. Do not treat it as a currency. Uh, too volatile. Too uh, insane uh, to be treated as a currency. So, you know. Treat this like Google stock. You should have some in your portfolio. Try and buy it cheap um, and sit with it. So listen, not much more to say here. Um, currencies, a little bit of a standstill. Waiting for the MPC today. There should be some, should be some volatility there. And 
eager to see what the US is going to do in the stock market today. 3064 is important. That's all I got for you. Good luck today, and I will see you tomorrow.